Hello, this is Kayla Draco of Arc Studios, and I'm here with Webtoons artist R.C. Young. Hello. <laughs> yes. So we found her booth, and she has like all these really fantastic stories. And I must start by asking, what got you into making comics in the first place? Uh, I was a really big fan of animation growing up in the 90s, and it inspired me to become uh, an animator. So I moved to Los Angeles, and I worked in web and TV animation for about six and a half years. And during that time, you know, I was enjoying my job, but at the same time, there were other stories that I wanted to tell, my own stories. Um, and you know, I was happy to, be, to do the work, but but it wasn't exactly the artistic direction that I wanted to go in. So I just started writing and um, drawing characters on the side, and I and I thought like, well, if I really want to tell a story, the easiest way to do it is in comic book form, you know, because doing your own animation is extremely difficult. So, so I went with comics, and, um, and I never looked back. <laughs> that is awesome. So when you started writing the comics, and I can completely agree, because like I've dabbled in making comics. I actually want to remake a story of my own, and I also dabble in animation as well. So I, oh my goodness, the amount of time that it takes to just do like five seconds of animation, I totally relate to that. So I must say, uh, what got you into doing web comics? What made you discover webtoons? I don't remember exactly how I first came upon Webtoons. I think it was recommended that you know I check out this app and I downloaded it. And I started reading it, and shortly after that, they had um, a contest going on. I think it was like last summer. It was like for it was the Discover contest, and I was like, you know what, this is a good way for me to just like break it. Like I'm going to start it, and because people are looking at these new comics, maybe I'll get a bigger following. You know, if I start there. So I have I had like a lot of story ideas, but but nothing really ready fleshed out. So I kind of went. Um, so Witchman is a series that I had been doing for a really long time, and so I was like, I'm just gonna do another story of new characters, but have it set in that same world, and um, kind of do a lot of the things that I wished I had done with that series, and um, and it was it was an interesting challenge too because as you know with webtoons it's the scrolling format it's very different from the reading format and I've seen so many really good comics on there that really utilize really utilize the scrolling feature I was hoping to get something like that but um, what I've done so far I'm just sort of exploring it and um, trying to you know I, I started writing things like one week at a time and I was like okay you know this I'm going to write one page at a time, and I've just been going forward with it and just kind of seeing where it goes. Yeah, that was very well put, and I agree, like the, the Webtoons format scrolling on the, the mobile comics are totally like a brand new medium in a way, like it's really, comics are starting to really go towards that digital side of things, and it's, it's kind of, it can be a hard transition, like if you're really used to writing in a certain way, and then having to completely adapt to the mobile format, it can be very different, and it can be even just frustrating try, trying to rewrite your story in a different kind of way but at the same time utilize the medium. So I just want to say like, you know, even with, you know, um, the trials and the errors of doing these comics, you know, doing these different stories that you've done, what is some advice that you would give to somebody that is just starting their own comic? Like, you know, just a few words of wisdom of uh, starting something brand new. Um, I would definitely say write, write what you know and write what you love. Write something that you're passionate about and that you're going to want to keep going with. Don't necessarily, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to get advice on what to write because it should come from your heart. Um, in terms of, you know, I like doing, I like prints. I, I think I prefer a print, but um, but I do, you know, the, the webtoons is a really, really great place, I think, for young people to start because you you get to, um, you know, you get a lot of eyes on your work, and and you get to a counter that tells you how many eyes, which is awesome because a lot of websites in the past don't really have quite that feature. And um, I, yeah, I just start. You know, you have to start one day at a time. And um, I spent several years just developing a story first and developing the character designs and. Eventually, when I had a whole story put together, you just start drawing it, and you kind of have to just go with it and not look back. I know a lot of 
artists, especially new artists, um, they tend to draw out like maybe five pages of a web or of a comic of any kind, and then they don't like, the, they're unhappy with the first page, and they redo that one, and then they're like, well, now the first page is better than the second page, so I got to redo that one. And that's kind of a trap that I, I think a lot of beginning comic people get into. Um, I understand the trap, but you just kind of have to accept what it is and move forward until you have at least enough story for people to be invested in the story. And at that point, if you want to go back, you can do that. But um, for me, like I just keep going forward. Um, yeah. Yeah, once again, very well put. Write something that you're passionate about. If there's something that you really want to tell the world about, you know, this story idea, whether it's based off a true story, whether it's something that you dreamt about, it's been haunting you for a long time, and just putting it out there, that's like the first step. Just do it. Yes, just do it. <laughs> just, and, and it's really, like, a lot of people come to my table and ask, how do you get into this? It's like, literally anyone can do it. You just make the pages, you, you pay a printer to print it, and then... You show up, you know, like literally anyone can do it. It's just a matter of putting in the practice and getting good at it. Yes, and thank you for, for your time with us. You know, check out all of these amazing stories. Let's take a little pan around. How about you tell us about the, the one that you have on uh, Webtoons a little bit? Yeah. So, Emmerine. Um, is a story, it's about a monster girl, and she is the only one of her kind around. She has no idea where she comes from or who her parents are, so she's on this this big quest to go find out who her parents are, starting with like zero information, and along the way she meets a whole bunch of other people, mostly, and she, she gathers this group, and it turns into like this all-girl like fantasy group, and they just go around and get into all kinds of hijinks. And, I must say, I'm definitely going to check that story out, and all of our viewers out there, definitely, if you're really into web comics and know about webtoons, check out her story. You know, I'm already hooked. I love this artwork, and thank you, thank you for sharing your time with us. Yes. So, Draco signing out. Peace. Yes. <laughs>